This is Nathan Womack coming to you again on hashtag stay woke. So as you know, President Biden in his campaign speech announced that he would have a black woman on the Supreme Court. Now, there's been a lot of controversy over that. Whether they qualify, whether they the right person, integrity, education, all those things came into play because Biden promised in his campaign that he will select a black woman to the Supreme Court. Now, when the previous administration put their nominee through, it only took them 28 days. Granted that when President Obama had the opportunity to appoint someone to the circuit court, the Republicans told him that he was an outgoing president and needless to say, he did not make that appointment. But listen, why is it that we always have to be better? We always have to be more intelligent, more poised, more educated than our counterparts that are less educated. But yet they always get the appointment. No problem. What is the fear? What are you scared of? Why is it that when we excel, we become a threat to you? We are God's chosen people, and so are you. But God finds favor with who he wants to find favor with. And he choose to find favor with us. We are the most resilient people. We have come through a lot. 400 years ago, we were enslaved. We built this country. This is our land. I don't know if it's the land of the free, but it's our land. Stay woke. Watch. The Bible said be vigilant. For the devil is as a roaring lion seeking who he may destroy. With that being said, you need to stay up on what's going on. There are almost, I think, 14 nominees that are qualified for the Supreme Court seat. And they're all black women. What an accomplishment. Nobody greater. Nobody more qualified. As we continue to try to have some level of equality in the highest court, we'll continue to struggle to have people that look like us. The Supreme Court should sure represent the demographics of the United States, which is very diverse. And as we can see now that the court is not diverse, for a long time there was a bunch of white old men on the court. Then there was Clarence Thomas. Then we had a Latino. Ruth Gator Ginsburg. Bless her soul. Now it's time. It is our time now. God bless you. Enjoy your day and stay woke.